How to build a wooden vegetable garden planter box Even if you're short on space, you can grow your own vegetables by constructing a wooden vegetable garden planter box. Building a 4 foot by 4 foot square planter box gives you a variety of planting options ensuring that your plants and vegetables will always be within arm's reach. Cedar and redwoods offer natural resistance to rot and insects. If you plan to use treated wood, select wood with eco-safe sealants that won't leach into the soil. Things you'll need 4 planks, 1 inch by 12 inches by 4 feet 4 corner posts, 2 inches by 2 inches by 2 feet 12 number 8 wood screws, 1 and a half inches long Electric drill Wire mesh, 4 feet by 4 feet Stapler Half inch staples 4 stakes Post hole digger Arrange the 4 1 inch by 12 inch planks to form a 4 foot by 4 foot square on a flat surface such as a paved driveway or a garage floor. Place one of the 2 inch by 2 inch corner posts where two boards meet. Secure the planks to the corner post using evenly spaced wood screws. Repeat steps 1 through 3 to secure each plank to the corner posts with the remaining wood screws. Leave the planter with the corner posts facing skyward. Trim the hardware cloth to fit around the corner posts, and secure it with staples. Choose a location that gets plenty of sunlight throughout the course of the day. Measure a 4 foot by 4 foot area, and mark the corners with stakes. Clear the area of debris. Using the post hole digger, dig 4 1 foot deep holes, one at each corner. Remove the stakes. Turn the planter box over so that it stands on the corner posts. Move the planter box to the location, and place the corner posts in the holes. Fill the holes with dirt securing the planter box into place. Tips Warnings A 1 inch by 12 inch plank actually measures 3 quarters inch by 11 and 1 quarter inches. To plant deep root vegetables such as carrots and potatoes, build two boxes and place one on top of the other. Secure them in place with metal brackets. In this case, use 12 inch sections of 2 inch by 2 inch corner posts in addition to the 2 foot section to make sure all edges are flush. Wear safety goggles when working with wood and power tools. Wear gloves when working with the wire mesh. Pre-drill pilot holes to prevent splitting.